Shaders can be used for more than just basic lighting, and when combined with clever texture mapping, interesting effects can be made, including non-photorealistic rendering. We created a shader that renders an object to look like it was sketched. We took three textures of varying brightness and combined them based on the lighting calculation to accomplish this effect. We'll go over the specific GLSL code of the pixel shader to highlight how this effect comes together, as well as show intermediary outputs. The first step in this process is creating a silhouette effect on the outer edge of the object. There are several variables passed in from the vertex shader that are used to make the silhouette. The name should be fairly self-explanatory. The silhouette is painted black where the angle between the normal and view vectors is close to 90 degrees. In other words, the edge color will equal black for the pixels that make up the silhouette. The final output color is computed by multiplying the final texture color with the edge color. We'll see how the texture color is computed later. For now, the texture color is simply white. Here is the result so far, where just the silhouette is calculated and applied to the object. Now, in order to calculate the texture color, we're going to apply three successively darker textures to the object, depending upon the light intensity. First, we read the texture color and alpha values from the lightest texture. This is the lightest texture. The white portions have an alpha value of 0, while the black portions have an alpha value of 1. Within a certain intensity range, the alpha value is scaled, so that the texture fades out towards the higher intensity. The color from the texture is then blended with the previously computed output color, white in this case, based on the new alpha value. This is the result so far, with only the silhouette and the lightest texture applied to the object. Next, the same calculations are performed but this time using a darker texture. This texture appears inside a lower intensity range than the lighter texture. As with last time, the color from the darker texture is then alpha blended with the previously computed output color, which now contains the additions from the first texture. This is the second darker texture. Note that it incorporates the lighter texture. This is the result of adding the lighter and darker textures to the object. Notice how the shading is more complete with the addition of this texture. Finally, the third and darkest texture is blended on top of the other two. This is the darkest texture, and notice how it builds on the previous two. This is the final result. Using this shader allows us to take any geometry and render it with this effect. This concludes our overview of a basic sketch shader. Our version could be improved by using a better silhouetting method, as well as adding more textures to increase the detail. Thank you for watching.